What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to G-Miles World. So EA Sports actually, they gave us a preview of what's going to be coming with the, you know, 95 overall Super Bowl present heroes. Uh, they also gave us the limit in the Dominican Sioux. And for, to be honest with you, the community is very, very upset. Uh, they don't feel like these cards are suitable, but these are just some of them. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually uh, go ahead and give you guys some insight into this, all right, to kind of let you guys know. I understand that you guys feel that it's trash, but I told you guys, we're still going to take the free player and go with it. That's what we're going to do. We are going to take this free player and we're going to put it in the set and we're going to get what we want. So look, pretty much the Dominican Sioux is going to be a 97 overall. His numbers look rather pedestrian, uh, if we're being honest. I don't think that they're that good. Um, I, you know, actually they suck. Like to just be honest, he's not going to do anything that's going to help you win games, is what I'm trying to say. Uh, more than likely, you guys should probably wait until we get honors Aaron Donald, if anything, to see how that works. But the Dominican Sioux is just not going to be it. All right, so he's going to be a 97. You're going to get a 96 Frank Clark, okay? What if, for whatever reason, whatever, I, I don't know what's going on with that. They love them some Frank Clark. It is what it is, okay? His card doesn't look, you know, that good either. It doesn't really matter. You're going to get a 95 uh, Clyde Edwards Hilaire. Uh, okay, cool, dude. Uh, that card's still looking kind of trash, no power up, whatever. And then you're going to kind of finalize it right now as a preview. The Bucks teams are going crazy, but Chris Godwin, all right? He's going to be a monster on a, um, because he's a route runner. He's actually going to be a monster on a Tampa Bay Buccaneers theme team. I'm not sure if he played for any other team, but he's going to be an absolute monster uh, with the way that this is working out right now. So I just want you guys to know, those are the four previews that they gave, um, you know, pretty much gave us some insight into. So we would have to wait to see what else is going on. But I just wanted to give you guys some insight into it because, you know, based on your feedback from it, once you saw it earlier on Good Morning Madden, a lot of you were very, very upset. All right. And my job right now for you guys is to see the brighter side of things. So the brighter side of things is we are going to get our free Super Bowl Nat 95 overall, which we all plan to do. Most of you guys should have your eight first downs uh, if you follow the guidelines of the video that I previously put out. So you should be all set for that. After we get our 95 overall, when they release all the other information and we see all the sets, right? We are going to do what we already did like three or four times, which is why I have so much training. We're going to complete the master sets, okay? We're going to quick sell the cards that come with them. We're gonna get that training. Unless for whatever reason you want an actual card that's a nat that you get back, you will quick sell it. We will accumulate training. Why are we accumulating training? Why are we doing that? Jimai, what, what's going on? What, what is the point? The cards suck. This is why. Training doesn't change. When they start putting out new promos and everything like that, there's always gonna be a training mechanism that comes with it, right? The trophies, they'll, they'll take half of the new series. Training, they do nothing with. So because they do nothing with the training, right? The more you accumulate, the better, because you can always use it for any other thing that's going on. So I need all of you guys to understand a couple things, right? Number one, with the cards being trash, just don't use them. We're gonna get rid of them. Don't worry about it. Go, go, go you know, go back in there, do rerolls, whatever. But we will get our free card and make something of it. So look, pretty much I gave you guys that preview and the market, the way it is right now is kind of trash. Some of you guys are like, yo, you know what I'm saying, bro? I didn't get a chance to take advantage of some of the things that were going on. You know, prices are going back up, stuff like that. What should I be doing right now? Well, I'm gonna be realistic with you, right? As I always am. If you miss the boat, you just miss the boat. You know, but there's gonna be another boat that's gonna be coming once they drop the new content. So look, when we went to 96s before, remember we were getting things for very, very dirt cheap, right? Like what? Like this guy was 140, 135. I got a couple of them for like 135, right? Super great deals, okay? Now, you're probably saying to yourself, what's gonna happen once the new cards drop? Well, pretty much what's gonna happen is similar to what happened with this. You're gonna get an influx of new cards that are going to affect the prices of the other cards, like 155. I wouldn't even buy that. I would wait for it to go down to the 40s because people are still getting desperate, right? So let me go back to all, because I want to give you guys an example of something to show you the way the market fluctuates and the way it goes crazy. Jason Sanders, you guys remember the video where we sold him for 330? Look at his price now, okay? So if you were looking for a kicker, if you are specifically looking for a kicker that can kick it from anywhere, like kick it from Mars, right? He would be perfect. He would be perfect for your team because he's the best kicker in the game right now. So he's making them from at least like 63, 64, whatever. Would I spend right now for him? Probably not. Why? Because his price will continue to go down. 
Why will his price continue to go down? Because of the newer content that's dropping. Now remember, once everything clears up and they drop Ultimate Legends, which is probably gonna be a couple weeks from now, you're gonna get an Ultimate Legend kicker. I don't know if you wanna wait that long. I would, listen, this is the thing, right? You have to at least have the other guy. I forgot what his name is, Bass. You gotta at least have him. He is dirt cheap and he makes kicks from at least 61. I think I made one from 61 with him uh, earlier today. So he can make deep kicks, but this guy, he's automatic from everywhere. So you can actually have a really, really good time uh, with this kicker. So right now, when you're gauging about, okay, the promo's garbage and you really have nothing to look forward to, you need to be lurking this auction house. Because look, this guy, 96, 162, Bob Sanders. You know, is he a good card? I don't think I could use him on my field. He's too small, he's gonna get mossed. But maybe you're a cult theme team and you were looking at his price and you were waiting for it to fall. Now look, another thing that I wanna point out, now that we're on the subject of using the other cards and completing sets, you can always go back, right? Actually, let's do this real quick. You can check out the prices of the cards of the completion of the set and see how much they are and see if it's worth doing their set again. I've already done these sets like three or four times. You know, um, you know, pretty much it is what it is. I tried out Joe Namath, the dude was garbage, and we moved on from it. Not a big deal, right? Uh, that's just pretty much what it is. Let me go to the quality and go back up there because these, these are the times where you guys accumulate training. These are the times where you go out there and get stuff done and you start to make your team better while not spending a, you know, a ridiculous amount. So look, he's 210, but he requires four cards. So those cards are gonna average about 150. So let's just say it averages 150. That's 600K. So it doesn't make sense to do this guy's card unless you had at least one of those set pieces with it, right? So this mathematically because of his set doesn't work anymore. There was a time he was up to like 300, 400, stuff like that. That doesn't work anymore, right? We go to the D tackle with Refrigerator Perry. This is disgusting. You can't do nothing with this. So that's what I'm saying. Early on, when everything is there and you're getting free cards from EA, and then you complete the set, it works. Once you miss the boat, you're done. There is nothing else you can do. Because if you complete the set with all four pieces, you're losing too much. So there's no reason to even go after this. But when they do the Super Bowl present, we are all over it. Okay, we are all over it. We get the one free one. We're probably gonna get something from challenges and then we're gonna go through it and pretty much go ahead and get something and you know, quick sell the cards, get even more training, probably go into the re-rolls. Now, as far as the re-rolls go, because some of you guys are raging about the fact that you know EA didn't have a certain card in it, whatever like that, I'm gonna tell you this right now, a pro tip. Just understand this. This is normal that EA does not do what they're supposed to do. Just so that we're on the same page and everybody's not wondering, you know, you know what's going on? What, why, they, why, why don't they do what they're supposed to do? This is normal to us Madden players. We know that there's always something where they either trying to get us or there's a mistake and then we take advantage of it real quick, then they patch it, blah, blah, blah. When they go to, the, when they go to put the present into the store, right? You're gonna be right there. You're gonna buy at least one. Because for whatever reason, if they don't have the cards that's supposed to be in it, you're gonna get another make right. What are you gonna do with that make right? You're gonna put it in the set and complete another set. So it's not a high chance that they're gonna mess up back to back, but there is a chance that it may happen. So I just wanna go ahead and point this out because I believe it's very important for you guys to understand because some of you guys didn't take advantage of it. No matter what happens, I always go in with each series and make sure that I get at least one reroll for the current promo. Why do I do that? Because of what I just got. I, I opened a couple of these for you guys on stream. Uh, not on stream, on, on a YouTube video. And you guys saw what I was getting, right? I stopped doing it after I got a couple 88, 80, 89s, whatever. Not even more than an hour later, EA tweets out, oh yeah, this wasn't in it. Everybody's getting a 95 to 96. So because I did that to show you guys what's going on, look at what I got. So when they release the next segment for the present players, guess what you're doing? You're gonna open at least one. So you're gonna still make stuff off the promo. It's not gonna be as pretty. I think what, what happens is everybody wants a card from every single promo. It's not gonna work like that. We're gonna have to take advantage of what they give us and then just accumulate it. And then as it goes on, we go after the players that we want. 
it's not going to be necessarily true that we're going to get something that we want from the present players. I told you, it's going to probably be, you know, pretty average cards. You know what I'm saying? Usually the past players are much better, but it's already done. Whatever. They say they have more limiteds. We'll wait to see how that works. But that does not mean that we are not going to eat off the promo. So what I need you guys to do right now, keep your heads up, bro. We're going to be good. We're going to wait until they release the next part. We're going to get the first downs with 10. We're going to get our free uh, Super Bowl present player. And then we're going to proceed to go into the set and complete that. Take a look at some of the newer challenges and we'll go from there. That's pretty much all I got for you guys right now. Hopefully you guys are enjoying your day. I'm going to see you guys and girls next time. One love, y'all.